imagine being on the other end of that in the dark when they shoot at you with 30 round clip. They got 40 and 50 round clips for that thing. They shoot at us in Vietnam with. I mean, that much firepower, that's one guy. When I got out as, and got discharged as a 19 year old, I was a mess. I was big time hurting. And started drinking, trying to forget. Fall of 69, I started college and I took an overdose. And my goal was at 33, and I was thinking Jesus was on the cross at 33. I was going to shoot myself. I, I, I planned it at midnight, to end it. And this pastor, and he asked me if I'd like to accept Jesus, which I, I did, and I remember crying so hard. And the next day, I, I slept there, and the next day I started church and going to Bible studies. My name is Jeffrey Steiner. I live in Cushing, Minnesota. It's right in the center of the state, big town of 65 people. And, and I have 100 acres. The, it's called the Veterans National Living Memorial here. I was two, two months into my 18th birthday when I landed on the DMZ in Vietnam, in the Marines. And months later, I was in the worst battle of the 10-year war, the Tet. I was, one of, I was a survivor. When I bought this land, there was only two pine trees and I always wanted a forest. So when I moved up here, I used to take buckets and drive along power lines where the babies are growing up and they're gonna burn them off, dig them up, put them in a bucket, bring them back. I know the spot where I was on my hands and knees planting, digging the hole to put the tree in. And I never knew this until somebody said, you know, you were crying then, that your, your first tears, that first tree you decided this watered, the, watered the, that tree. And I go, I never looked at that before. It comes back. I can be out doing stuff and all of a sudden I'll think of things, especially when I'm on my hands and my knees planting a tree for everyone who died in the Vietnam War. Or I think of a letter I get from a mother who's lost a son, so would you plant this tree in honor of so and so and say a prayer for him? Donnie Severson's tree, planted back in 80. I don't know, 85 or six, he died in Vietnam, saving a whole bunch of guys being medevaced off a hill, holding off the NVA. And he just kept keeping the NVA firing on him until they killed him. My son Donnie, age 20, was killed in, in action in Vietnam on July 22, 1970. He was awarded many medals, but they never meant a lot to me, knowing that there is a, a tree growing in its memory means everything. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you are doing. I love you, Mrs. Donnie Severson. Today's no November 11, 11, 11. It's his 11th month, 11th day, 2011. I'll plant these 11 trees in honor of Somebody we lost in the Vietnam War. The ground's hard. Wall. And the guys die, they're laying down horizontal, and these trees stand up for them. Come here, Cheyenne. Let me have your scarf. Come here. Come here, girl. I want to put this here for the last one. So when I come by, I can remember this. Thank you, girl. My goal was to have this touch other veterans that, hey, look at this guy, he cared, you know? He did this for us, um, you know, in some small way. <laughs>